We watched every video on YouTube about getting kicked out of a campground, and this is what we learned. Whatever you do, you don't want to argue with the campground management. But there is more to this story than conflict. So walk with us as we detail out six more ways you can get kicked out of an RV park. Let's get started. Everyone likes to have a good time on camping, but for adults, many combine drinking with camping. So can you drink alcohol at a KOA? KOAs are known for family entertainment and an overall enjoyable experience. Here at Streetsboro KOA near Cuyahoga National Park, we had a great time. One of their selling features is entertainment, including swimming pools, playgrounds, games for kids and adults, and just a good time in general. But can you drink wine and beer or mixed drinks at KOA? Yes, drinks are generally allowed at KOAs and other private campgrounds. Some campgrounds even sell beer and wine on site. But there are rules to follow. Many campgrounds limit alcohol consumption to your campsite. Drinking off your campsite is prohibited, but oftentimes you camp with friends or meet people at the campground that you want to hang out with at the pool or pavilion. People also like to walk their dogs or walk with someone while having a drink, but if the campground prohibits alcohol off your campsite, mind your pints and quarts or you just might get kicked out of the KOA. Read the video description while you watch for more camping resources. One of the main reasons people find themselves camping is to take their pets with them. Some people just love their pets that much. Others can't find good dog sitters. But let's discuss this next question as we walk through Tri-Trails KOA in Ogallala, Nebraska. Are pets allowed at KOA campgrounds? KOA campgrounds are great for families and if you are like us, your family includes pets. KOA campgrounds are great because they have a set of requirements that each KOA campground must have. Each KOA has to have a camp canine and allow pets. It's nice to know there will always be a fenced in dog park for our dogs to get some time off leash. But each KOA has the ability to adjust their pet policy to be more restrictive. We found that many KOAs limit pets to two per campsite. Dogs also need to be on a six foot leash and well behaved. Some KOAs are more restrictive on this policy than others. One controversial limitation we've seen is that some campgrounds prohibit certain breeds. Pit bulls, Dobermans, Mastiffs, and Rottweilers are popular on the list of breeds that aren't allowed in RV parks. They tend to have stronger bite force and more aggressive by nature. So not only can you get kicked out for having too many dogs, you may also get kicked out for having a particular breed of dog. So be careful drinking and keep your dog restrained and well behaved. With these first two out of the way, you won't believe the rest of the ways campgrounds will choose to kick you out. So many things are traditions for campers. These things that make a camping experience complete. But when you are trying to have fun in a campground, you may be violating rules and impacting the joy for other campers. Have you ever been to a strict campground? What did you get in trouble for? We have a lot of questions around these rules and would like your input. Join the conversation in the comments. One of these traditions we all enjoy are s'mores over a campfire. Can you get in trouble for cooking s'mores? Maybe you should ask the question, what are the campground rules for fires? Campgrounds have rules around campfires too. You would think burning wood in a campground would be common sense, but campgrounds have rules to keep you and those in the park safe. We enjoyed our campfires when we stayed here at Spacious Skies outside Shenandoah National Park. We've seen the following and you will too. Many campgrounds prohibit you from bringing in firewood from outside of their campground. This is mainly to follow state laws to limit the transport of insects and other things that are wiping out forests across the nation like ash borer has done. But they may also prohibit you from using branches and pine cones and similar around your campsite. Some campgrounds will prohibit fires where the wood is stacked taller than the fire pit height. But have you heard that accelerants like lighter fluid need to be locked up at some campgrounds to keep these items away from children? These would include lighters, propane torches, lighting logs, paper, and cardboard. Speaking of good fire starters, we use fatwood. Have you heard of it? If you don't know what it is, we'll put a link in our description so you can get more details. They are guaranteed to make it easier for you to start campfires. Some campgrounds limit the time you can have a fire. We saw one that only allowed fires from 8 a.m. to midnight. But make sure you extinguish your fire before you turn in for the night. If you violate these rules or if someone sees your fire after you go to bed, you could be pulling out due to eviction in the morning. They have a rule prohibiting unattended fires regardless of how small the ember, and they're not afraid to use it. Every good campground video needs a dad joke. How do you keep your sleeping bag from getting stretched out? Don't sleep in it too long. If you have a good dad joke, share it in the comments and we might include it in a future video. Alright, back to the list and how many people can I have at a campsite? Some people get kicked out because they are too nice and too inclusive. We've seen campground rules limit the number of people per campsite. For the most part, the family of four is welcome almost anywhere. Other campgrounds will limit the campsite to six people. But 
Chem site capacity is determined by factors such as the size of the site, availability of facilities, such as restrooms and water sources, environmental considerations and safety regulations. Local ordinances have limits on the number of people a campground can support, and the owners are required to stay beneath the limit. One way for them to make sure they can stay below the government maximum is to limit each site. But one of the YouTube videos of RVers getting kicked out was due to having kids on a longer term stay. But you will see that more than two adults in a campsite can get you kicked out too. If you have people from more than one family, you can get kicked out as well. What is a rule you don't agree with? Join the conversation in the comments by sharing your story. As we continue our list, let's go to the KOA in Albuquerque, New Mexico to answer. Is it rude to play loud music while camping? Many campers love to play music when they are in their campground. RVs are set up by the manufacturer for music lovers. Speakers are installed on the outside of many RVs for people to enjoy music at their campsite. But it's rude to play loud music your neighbors don't like, and your music can get you kicked out of the campground. Remember, the RV manufacturers are trying to sell you the RV. The campground operator is trying to get the most people in their campground to have a good time and leave happy. It always seems to be the guy playing ACDC for the whole campground to hear giving 80s rockers a bad rap. Loud music from one campsite will generally upset a handful of campers. I think quiet hours were created so campground operators could require people to turn down or turn off their music. What do you think? We've even gotten in trouble for playing an acoustic guitar at a state campground after sunset. If you like music around the campfire, get a Bluetooth speaker and put it under your chair or on the nearby picnic table. We'll put an example in the video description to show you a durable waterproof speaker with deep sound. What side are you on? Do you always play music in the campground or do you tend to enjoy listening to the quiet? How do you relax? Do you watch YouTube when looking for KOA campgrounds and other RV parks? We like to show as much of the campground as we can in this walk and talk format. So subscribe to our channel so when you search for a campground, you will find us at the top of your search results. Next up on our list could get you a ticket and fine outside of a campground, but in the campground, it could get you evicted. What is the normal speed limit in a campground? Did you know there are speed limits in campgrounds? We've noticed a variety. From as low as 5 miles per hour to 15 miles per hour in some RV parks, the ones we like are when they include a half mile per hour, like 9.5 at some KOAs. Around Gulf State Park in Gulf Shores, Alabama, which we are walking through right now, the speed limit just outside the campground is 26 miles per hour. The unusual speed limits in campgrounds help travelers identify the speed limit because it is different. It emphasizes that speed matters. Have you ever seen people driving too fast in a campground? Have you seen anyone get kicked out of a campground for driving too fast? With bicyclists, joggers, walkers, and kids playing and exercising everywhere, it is important to stay at or below the speed limit. In some communities, we've seen tickets issued for going one to two miles over the speed limit. But if you are endangering other campers with your vehicle, you could be kicked out of the campground. To learn more about camping in the national parks, watch this video next.